<laughs> you know, there's that uh, fear of the unknown. Yeah. <laughs> See, as um, as an individual that uh, signs the lawsuits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of these judges they think, well, Paul's not uh, really experienced in in being in court. <laughs> It's been said that you would be foolish to represent yourself. But when you arrest somebody for failure to appear to an arraignment, yeah, and you issue a warrant for my arrest without asking me where I was at or what I was doing, yes, it looks like you've been paying people to play the part of Paul Budnick. Yeah. Is that what you've been doing? You know, it's been years and years and years where I've informed you that my civil rights are being violated. Mm -hmm. November 15th of 2015 is when I first documented it. Mm -hmm. And your answer was to say that I was in Squim, Washington when I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? That you, you, you decided you were just going to put me in a mental institution? You were going to have them administer psychotropic medication against my will. Yes. You were going to put me under psychiatric watch. Yes. Mm. You know, um, I'm not saying that I have any actual court experience, yeah. though I've been to court a lot of times. I've been named as a defendant multiple times. Uh, in 2012, I was named a defendant. Yeah. Then there was um, 2016, I was named as a defendant. Yes. 2017, I was named as a defendant. <laughs> 2011, I was named as a defendant. <laughs> but it's not been any time that you named me as a respondent that I've actually appeared in court. Seems that you issued a dissolution of marriage where I didn't get any notice of court hearings. <laughs> I didn't get the dissolution of marriage, and um, you didn't have the jurisdictional law to issue it. <sighs> then there are all those protection orders you issued. I, I was uh, named as a respondent, mm -hmm. but I wasn't a resident of Washington State in 2011. Mm -hmm. I was named as a respondent in 2012 when you reissued it one week after my wife filed for this. By minute order, you reissued it. Mm -hmm. I didn't appear in court. I was on trial for the allegation of violating the restraint provisions because I called Healthy Families of Quality County. I was found not guilty, and you refused to admit the evidence that my record was expunged. Mm -hmm. There was an expungement of the actual arrest in court hearings. Then you modified it without giving me notice of court hearings. Mm -hmm. Then you had a dissolution of marriage where I didn't get any notice of court hearings. Mm. And then uh, you reissued it in 2013 when you put it in publication. Yeah. The petitioner said that she sent it to me. Oh, and the sheriff's department called me on my personal telephone. I walked to the sheriff's department. Well, seemed like you didn't want me to appear in court. Mm. So I didn't. Eleven weeks later, after I left Clallam County, you decided to say that you attempted service on me. So why don't you call me a week before the court? Why don't you call me the day after the court? Then you reissued it in 2015 without any attempt to service from June 1st to June 12th. Yes. 48 days later, you had a court hearing where you say that you attempted service twice. Yes. And then when you you issued it uh -huh, for 10 years. Mm. You served me in the Squid Public Library. Teaching me a lesson. What is it that I'm supposed to... <laughs>